everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my second product empties video for you and I have a load of stuff to get through so I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to link everything I talk about in the description bar below because I'm going to go through quite speedily as I do have quite a lot of stuff to talk about. The first product that I've used up is this mouthwash from Colgate, it's the Max White One mouthwash. This is kind of the mouthwash that I love using and I will continue to repurchase it. I have another one on the go at the moment and I love this and I would recommend it. Next up is a shampoo and it's the Pantene Pro-V Colour Protect and Smooth Conditioner. I spoke about the um, shampoo in my previous video. I wasn't really keen on this line so I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I'm still on the hunt for a good colour protecting shampoo though because as you can see I dye my hair red. I'm naturally blonde so I do need something to help me keep the colour in. So if you have any recommendations then do let me know in the comments below. Uh, next up is the Impulse Vanilla Kisses Body Spray. I kind of just carry these around in my bag with me just to kind of have a bit of a spritz throughout the day if I'm feeling a bit hot or, well not stinky but you know what I mean. If you do you know when you just feel like you need to freshen up, I just carry these around for this. I really like this as I like the smell of vanilla. It did have a little bit of an artificial sort of smell when you first sprayed it but once it was on the clothes I really liked it. Next is the Tommy Guns Pomegranate and Orange Flower Shampoo and it looks like this. I do have some running down the side there but I can't seem to get it out. Um, but I really like this. I got this in a birch box ages ago and it smelled amazing. That's the thing that I like the most about, about it. And it does say it's gentle enough for daily shampoo and it's for all hair types. But I only wash my hair about twice a week. I try and leave it as long as possible so I don't wash my colour out of it or anything. Um, but yeah, I really like this and I might purchase it again, I'm not I'm not sure yet. Now on to a makeup product, I have the MAC Brush Cleanser. This is the brush cleanser that I always use um, for spot cleaning. I use something else for deep cleaning my brushes and I really like this and I've already repurchased another one and I'm pretty sure there's another one of these in the bottom of the bag because I like to keep my brushes clean. I mean, I do have a lot of brushes but... There's some that are favourites that I like to clean quite regularly, so I find this does a really good job. Next up is a toner, and it's from Simple, and it's the Kind to Skin Pore Minimising Toning Cleanser, and it looks like this. Um, I did enjoy using this. It was quite a thick, almost gel-type toner. Um, I didn't find it particularly minimised my pores or anything, but it was really nice to use in the morning, as it's simple, if you know what I mean. It kind of... It's nothing too fancy, it's nothing fussy, um, I just really enjoyed using it. So I might repurchase this when I've used up um, a couple of other toners. Another skincare product are the Clearasil Rapid Action Pads, the Ultra ones. I really liked using these. I do have um, a slightly different one on the go at the moment, but these did a really good job at helping keeping my skin clear, and I would definitely recommend these. If you have acne prone skin or, or if you're just having a breakout at the moment, these are really good at helping clear it up. And they're also really great for um, helping keeping your skin clear. So I would definitely recommend these and I probably would repurchase these. Now on to a face wash and this is the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit... Ugh. Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Cream Wash. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, it just looks like this. This is one of my favourite face washes. I really like using it in the morning. Um, it says it gently cleanses to help prevent spots and blackheads without over drying the skin. And yeah, I think it does that. I mean, it's not... I think it's got salicylic acid in it. I think that's the one of the main ingredients and yeah I really like using this it's great for in the morning it's quite refreshing on the skin and I think it does help to keep my skin clear these are the other Clearasil pads that I was talking about these are the super fruits refreshing pads um, I like these I prefer these over the other ones but I think they're both excellent products um, and this is the one that I have on the go at the moment and I've got a backup under like under my bed where I keep all the rest of my um, backup products so I definitely recommend these, these are really excellent products. Next up I have a really battered box of pore strips, these are the, is it Bior? I think that might be how you say it, the Ultra Deep Cleansing Pore Strips with tea, 
tea tree oil and witch hazel i really like using these i like to use pore strips every now and again as i suffer from um blackheads all over like all over my nose and no matter what i do i just can't seem to get rid of them um but these do a really good job at kind of helping keep it as clear as possible um, and i do have another box of these at the moment i actually got these off amazon um, as they were a lot cheaper on there um, but I would recommend these and I will definitely repurchase another box when I finished my other ones. Next is a box of cotton buds. These are the 100% pure wool cotton buds. These are the beauty ones. These are from Superdrug. And these are the ones that I keep on my desk. You'd have seen them if you watched my makeup collection video. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it. Um, they have like a point on one end and then sort of like a flat sort of cotton bit on the other end and they're really good for like cleaning up any makeup mistakes and I do already have another pot of these and I would definitely recommend them as they're you know quite cheap because they're from Superdrug and they do the job. Next up I have a mascara and it's the Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express Flared Mascara and um, I did really like this mascara I'll just show you the that's what the brush looks like it's kind of a curved and it's one of the fiber type brushes not the plastic ones um, I did really like this mascara, I find it did a really good job of kind of giving me a lot of volume in my lashes and yeah I'd probably repurchase this again, I do have a lot of mascaras to use up at the moment though so it won't be for a long time but yeah it's a really nice drugstore mascara. Next up I have a cleanser and this is a little sample size of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial, or Ultra, well, Ultra Facial Oil Free Cleanser you have to excuse if my eyes are watering and my throat is a bit croaky. I've just had a bit of a coughing fit in between uh, products there. Um, but this is for normal to oily skin types. I really, I really enjoyed using this cleanser. It was nice to use as my second cleanse at night time. Um, although I do have combination skin, I don't really feel that I need an oil-free formula. So I'd quite like to try the um, regular ultra facial cleanser next time um, to see if I prefer that one but I did really enjoy using this cleanser and I did find it did not really control the oil on my face but it did kind of make me feel less oily after I'd washed my face so I'd really recommend this to oily skin girls out there or guys you know because it's kind of a unisex product um yeah so might try this again might try the other version of it Next up is one of my Holy Grail products and it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray um, I won't go into too much detail about this because I think I spoke about it in a last my last empties video. It's my Holy Grail product. I use it every day to set my makeup and I already have another one on the go and it's the best setting spray in my opinion for my skin type and I really like it and I'd highly recommend giving it a go if you're looking for a setting spray. And I have another bottle of the Colgate Max White One mouthwash. And I also have a tube of the Colgate Max White One Optic Toothpaste. This is the one that I really enjoy using. I find it helps, not whiten my teeth necessarily, but it helps to kind of get any stains off them and just make them look whiter. They're not actually whiter, but they look cleaner, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I've got another one of these on the go at the moment. And um, my partner uses it as well, and we both like the taste of it, as it's not too strong. And yeah, just a really great toothpaste. Next up I have a really battered bottle of the Soap & Glory Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. Um, I liked the smell of this but I didn't really found, find, for, I didn't really find it made like it made my feet any softer or the dry skin go away. Um, there are other products that I prefer so I probably wouldn't repurchase this again though it did smell really nice. Next up is another hair product and it's the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Dry Shampoo. Um, I don't really know if I like this or not, if that makes sense. Uh, sometimes I used it and I really liked it and other times I used it and I hated it. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it again. Um, it was really good at not leaving a white, white cast on my hair. So that's one of the things that I did like about it. But sometimes it left my hair feeling a bit sticky, um, so I'm just going to go back to my Batiste dry shampoo at the moment um, until I find something else to use. So yeah, probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I'd recommend giving it a go. You know, it's it's not too expensive, it's from the drugstore, so you're not really wasting a lot of money if you don't like it. 
Next is the Gerlique Rose Water Balancing Mist. I absolutely love this. Um, I have already ordered a big bottle of it that I'm waiting to come. It was really nice and hydrating and it smelled really nice and it was refreshing to use as my second toner in the morning. So definitely recommend giving this a try. And it's actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. For the... I think I got a 100ml bottle for £13.50 or something. That was on a Black Friday deal. But I think... I think like the 50ml bottle from Space NK is like £16.50. Which I think would last quite a while. So it's... You know, it's quite reasonably priced. It's not too expensive. So definitely recommend giving this a go. Next is a little mini body product. This is the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. Um, I really like this. It's thick but it soaks in really quickly and I really like the smell of it and I have, um, I think I have like two big tubs of this to use up as well and maybe another mini one. Um, this is one of the Soap and Glory products that I really do enjoy using and I'd highly recommend giving it a go if you're looking for a new um, body butter. I have a disappointing product here. This is the Rodile Glam Tox Cleansing Balm. Um, this isn't actually empty, but unfortunately it broke me out. Um, I did like the smell of it and it was really good at removing makeup, but unfortunately it made my face all spotty. So um, definitely won't be repurchasing it, but it did do a good job if that makes sense. It's just not for my skin. Next I have two of the same thing. This is the Mitchum unscented deodorant for women really like this kind of the only deodorant that i use so obviously i'll repurchase it and i'd recommend it is it really you know it, this is the unscented one this is the one i prefer um as it helps you know stop me being a sweaty betty during the day and um yeah really like it not obviously it's unscented so there's no smell to it but um yeah great deodorant I had the Superdrug Dry Skin Shave Gel, um, really liked this, I got it on offer so it was really cheap and it did a good job as a shaving gel, I chose the dry skin one because I do have quite dry skin on my body um, and yeah, not really much to say about it, it was a good shaving gel. Next I have a perfume, as you can see it's not empty but it has um, the scents changed on it so I thought it was time to throw it away and this is the... Ralph by Ralph Lauren, I think that's what it's called, and it's the Eau de Toilette. Um, I did really like the smell of this, this is quite a summery perfume, um, but yeah, unfortunately I've had it for too long and the scent has changed, but I might repurchase this in the future. Um, I have, there are other things that I like better, but it was a nice kind of everyday summer perfume for wearing to work or school or whatever. So yeah, really did like this, but sad to see it go as... I don't like throwing out products that aren't finished but it smells not right anymore so time for it to go. Um, next is the Radox Coconut Kiss Shower Cream. Um, I really like this, I bought this when I was on a coconut kick and I was buying anything possible that smelled of coconut and I liked it um, as a shower gel, like the Radox line is really nice. Um, but it did kind of have quite an artificial coconut smell. I mean, it was okay, but I don't know. Sometimes when I was using it, I thought, mm, I don't think this has been anywhere near a coconut. But, um, yeah, no, I liked it. And I probably would repurchase it again. Um, my other half likes some of the other smells from this line. Um, like there's a berry one and a cherry one that smell really nice. So I might try them next instead of the coconut one. I finally finished up a bottle of the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua Foundation. I think this is like my second or third bottle. This is one of my favourite foundations for a light to medium coverage. Um, even though I've got like combination skin, like, or if you have, don't be put off by the fact that it says aqua. Um, it does kind of have a semi satiny, it's not really a dewy finish, let's put it that way. Um, and, but I think this is really nice, it's nice for in the summer, um, it's quite nice for in the winter as well as it feels hydrating on the skin, it doesn't feel drying or anything. It's one of the ones that you have to um, shake up before you use it. Um, so yeah, I've got another bottle on the go as I really love this foundation and I'd really recommend giving it a try, even if you just go to the counter or something and ask for them to apply it or give you a sample. It's a really lovely foundation. Next I have a night cream and it's the number 7 Protect and Perfect Night Cream. 
Um, I really like this. I was quite surprised by it actually. Um, my mum gave this to me. She got it in a set and um, she uses a different range from number seven. So she gave this to me to try and I really liked it. It was a nice basic night cream. Didn't do anything fancy. It just kind of, it made my skin feel nice and soft and it, had sunk, it sinks in quite nicely. It doesn't kind of linger on the skin or anything. So yeah, I might try this again actually. It, it kind of surprised me. This was a surprise like out of my empties, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I really liked it. Another face wash. This is the Murad Blemish Control Clarifying Cleanser. Um, I really like this. I like the blemish control line from Murad. I find it's really effective on my skin. Um, I think it's salicylic acid again, which is what my skin seems to like. I can't talk today. Um, I probably would purchase this again, but I might purchase as a slightly different one you can get. I think it's called like Time Release blemish control or something like that. I prefer that over this one but this did a really good job and I used this in the morning and I really liked it so highly recommend this product. Um, another skincare product from Kiehl's here, this is the Ultra Facial Toner. Um, I used this in the morning and this was really nice, it felt quite moisturising. It says it's a gentle toner to prepare, hydrate and comfort skin. And it was really nice. I think this would be really good um, in the winter, especially if maybe you have um, dry sensitive skin, as it didn't um, cause me any sensitivity or cause me to break out or anything. And I really like this, so I might purchase the full size of this one. have another foundation, and as you can see, it's full, but I didn't really like it, and it kind of smells funny now. And this is the Revlon colour stay for combination oily skin and this is the colour 150 buff chamois um i didn't like this i found this way too thick um it would be great if you had really oily skin i think but for me this was just too heavy i could feel it sitting on my skin and i really didn't like it so i wouldn't re wouldn't repurchase this product um, another makeup product this is the mac fluid line in black track um, there's some left in it as you can see but unfortunately it's all dried out as so I've had it for quite a while but there's not too much left of it, left, ugh, left of it. Um, so I'm going to do back to MAC with this. Um, this is probably my favourite gel liner. I'm using a different one at the moment which I don't really like um, so I'm going to do a blog post on that actually but this is probably my holy grail gel eyeliner. I really loved using it so I'm going to pick up another one soon. Um, I have a serum here from Clarins. This is the uh, wait, where's the English? Hydra Quench Intensive Serum by Phase. So it's one that you had to shake up to activate it. There's a little bit left, but I can't get it out. Um, this was really nice. It was really hydrating my skin. I used this in the morning before applying my makeup. And I didn't, I didn't find it interfered or anything like that. So I'd definitely be purchasing the full size of it. Ugh. I would definitely be purchasing the full size of this. And I'd recommend giving it a try. I have a scrub from the body shop. This was the mango sugar body scrub. I really like the smell of this and I really like um, sugar scrubs. They're my kind of scrub of choice over the ones that have like little nut shells or whatever in them. Um, but yeah, it did a really good job. It felt quite hydrating as well. It kind of left, if I say oily layer, that's not what I mean. It kind of left like a nice hydrating layer on my skin after I've washed it off. So definitely be purchasing a full size maybe in a different smell though to give something else a try I have two packs of the clarity shine control paper these were from Superdrug. they don't sell these anymore um, but I've been really enjoying using like blotting papers recently um, throughout the day instead of powdering um, so I'm using different ones at the moment but these were really good so it's a shame they don't sell them anymore have the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. I really enjoyed using this. It was really separating and lengthening and it kind of added a bit of volume as well. Um, I already have another one of these purchased as I loved it so much and I would definitely recommend this mascara. It's well worth the money. I also have the Mango Body Butter from the Body Shop. Um, I'm not really all that keen on the Body Shop Body Butters. I find they don't sink in very well on my skin. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this particular one as I did find it didn't sink in very well. have um, a cleanser from Clarins. It's a little mini sample. Sorry if I'm talking really fast but I can see that like, my battery is about to go. Um, but this was the Daily Energizer Cleansing Gel with Moringa Extract. I really liked using this. It was really refreshing in the morning and it did a good job at cleansing 
my skin when I was using it so I would definitely repurchase the big size of this one. I have a product from Sarah Chapman, this is the Skin Tone Perfecting Booster. Um, I really enjoyed using this in the morning, um, it sunk in like so quickly, like I literally rubbed it on my face and it was gone. Um, and I can't really say if it did um, correct any skin tone as obviously it's a really small sample that I got from Space NK but I really did like it so I would be interested in purchasing the full size of this to see if it does what it claims to do. Another product from Clarins, this is the Daily Energizer Wake Up Booster with red currant, green coffee and white tea extract. I kind of used this like a toner in the morning and it was really nice actually, it kind of woke my skin up, it kind of made it tingle to kind of make it feel... I don't know, like blood was, do you know what I mean, like blood coming to the surface to make your skin all plump or whatever. Um, but yeah, I really liked this, but I'm not sure if I purchased the full size of it, as there are other things that I like better. But it was quite nice. An eye cream from Ole Henriksen. This is the Fresh Start eye cream. Um, I used this at night. I did use it during the day a couple of times. Um, and it was alright. That's kind of all I can say about it, really. It says it nourishes with antioxidants to diminish lines and wrinkles obviously i'm only 27 so i don't really have lines and wrinkles at the moment you know kind of touch wood or whatever that i'm not going to get too many um but yeah it was all right it was only all right so i probably wouldn't purchase this again um i didn't find it was particularly moisturizing enough for my under eye area um and then in the morning it was too heavy for my under eye area so unfortunately not for me but it was it was a nice cream have an eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 waterproof liquid eyeliner in perversion. I really, really liked this. Um, it's not quite empty, um, but it's kind of, it's gone a bit funny now. But I really like these liquid liners. They have the finest little brush ever, so it's great for getting like a really tiny line along your lash line. Um, so I'll definitely be repurchasing this soon as I love it. I have another sample from Kiehl's, this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I got this because um, Devonims are doing like an offer, if you buy the full size you get a little mini one to try to see if you like it. Um, so I got this and I tried it and I really like it. I wouldn't say it's quite as like wow as everyone else says it is, but um, it was nice and it did leave my skin feeling nice the next day, it's just not... It's not what I was expecting, but I do like it, if that makes sense. So, yes, would recommend giving this a go. I have a primer from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, there's still a little bit left in it, but I couldn't get it out. Um, I got this um, from Boots when they first opened a new store near me. And I liked it. I kind of mainly used it around here, where I have um, quite large pores. Um, but I don't think I'll be purchasing the full size of it, as I do like... Um, there's a Kiehl's one I like better than this, it does sort of the same job. Um, but yeah, if you do have oily skin or large pores, I'd recommend giving this a go. I have another primer here, this is the one from Benefit, and it's the That Girl um, Brightening Face Primer. Um, I don't really know what to say about this, I didn't really find it did anything. Um, it wasn't really all that brightening. I find the L'Oreal Lumi Magique brightens a lot more than this one. And it didn't really make my foundation last any longer. It did smell really nice, so that was a plus. But it didn't really do anything for me in terms of makeup wise. So I don't think I'll be purchasing the big size of this one. And my final product is from Murad. And it's a little sample of their T-Zone Pore Refining Gel. Which I think is actually called their T-Zone Pore Refining Serum now. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called now. Um, I didn't really like it. I found it quite sticky on my skin and I didn't really find it refined my pores or anything like that. So I probably won't be purchasing the full size of it. So that's everything gone from in my bag. That was a lot of empties to get through. I'm sorry that this video is going to be really long. Um, I'm going to try and not leave it quite so long next time um, before doing an empties video. Um, just on a bit of a side note, you might notice that my lighting's a bit better now. Um, I did get two lights that kind of sat either side of the camera. My other half bought them for me as an early Christmas present, so thank you very much for my lights. Um, so yeah, hopefully when I'm doing videos now, I'll always have the same lighting and you'll be able to see products better and if I'm doing like tutorials to get ready with me's and things like that you'll be able to kind of see the colours a bit better that's what I'm hoping anyway it might take a bit of playing around to get the lighting 
right but um overall i'm really pleased with them actually i got them from amazon their photo cell ones they were 94 pounds i think i know this because he let me choose them um that's the only reason i know about them obviously um but yeah so i hope you enjoyed this empties video as i said i will list everything that i talked about in the description box below as i know i might have sped through a couple of things um, so if you like my video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos um, It would really mean a lot to me if you would do that And I'll also link my blog below as I'm posting a lot more on there now um, And I'd love it if you could check that out and follow me And I will see you all in my next video Bye